Hi, I'm Reverend Diane from Unity of Naples, and uh, the daily word for Sunday, this past Sunday, uh, was compassion. And so we looked at compassion. You can see in this picture, you know, the, the compassion of just being present to each other, no matter what we're moving through. And we were talking about how important that is, that Jesus really, really was all about compassionate living. He, he was not one who denied what was happening in the human realm, which I love because it's like, oh, you know, whoa, really, that's happening in your life, I'm so sorry. Uh, and then he would feel whatever he felt. And of course, the shortest scripture in the Bible is that Jesus wept and he just, he felt in his human realm. And then he would look up from what was taking place, look up from the fact and give thanks to God in advance. You know, the, this affirmative prayer technique that we use in unity, give thanks in advance and then do whatever needed to be done as he knew the truth so that the healing uh, it took place. The healing, of course, is something where we remember the truth of who we are. We can do that in each other's presence through compassionate living. And so yesterday I shared about Tonglen, which is a, uh, a Buddhist um, practice. And it's a wonderful, it comes from Tibet, and it's just a super simple technique, really three parts, very much like what Jesus taught us, that we, you and I, can be present to our pain or somebody else's pain or grief or whatever and breathe it in, looking into their heart, looking into through their eyes. Just breathe it in to that place within us, that Christ in us, our hope of glory, where all things are well. And then when we breathe out, breathe out love, breathe out light, and let it have its way in that circularity. That's what compassion is. So I see you this week living a compassionate life, more aware, more conscious and conscientious about how you just are being called to be present, just be with yourself and with others as they move through what they do. And when we do that, oh, the light of God just takes over and everything is well. Thank you, God. Have a glorious week.